Hello, welcome to the channel and today I show you how to use the Ursa viewfinder on a non-Ursa or Ursa mini camera. But let's start with some exciting unboxing. Here's the Blackmagic Ursa viewfinder. Like the name says, it's a viewfinder for the Ursa or the Ursa mini camera. But you can use on every camera like we show here in this video. So what's in the box? Open it and we have a golden welcome card from Blackmagic. We come later back to it and now we open again and here we see the Ursa viewfinder. It comes just with a little screw. Here it's, the screw is important for mounting it on the Ursa or Ursa Mini. My first impression, a nice piece, no plastic. All parts are made of metal. It's solid, it feels good. So again, in the box you will find a welcome card, a screw, and the Ursa viewfinder. If you open the welcome card, inside there is a small SD card and on this SD card there is a software and the manual. If you put it in your PC, you have the Blackmagic camera setup installer and you also have a manual for the Ursa viewfinder. So let's go back to the hardware. The Ursa viewfinder you can turn 90 degrees in down direction and 90 degrees up. So you can arrange the viewfinder how you need it for your work. If you have a look at the top, you see three buttons. For zoom, display and peak. If you turn it a little bit, you have a, a red tally light. And over the red tally light, see there's a USB connection. You have to open it. And here you can update the firmware of the Ursa viewfinder, if you like. So as a viewfinder is perfectly designed to be mounted on an Ursa or an Ursa Mini. If you have a look at the cable, you have one signal cable for the picture. It's a 6G HDSDI input. And you have a 12 volt power input, like often used in broadcast. So for now it's a nice piece of hardware. Oh, one thing I forgot, you have the, the diopter wheel, so you can arrange the viewfinder right for the strength of your eyes. On the button you will find two screws. If you open them, then you can change the distance of the viewfinder outside of the camera. Let's see how we can get works if you find her on a non Orsa or Orsa Mini camera, for example, on a Black Magic production camera. What we need is a battery for powering the viewfinder, and it's best way if the battery has a D tap out. Then we need a cable with a D tap male and a 12 volt. 4 pin female. For transmitting the video signal, we need a video cable. And how long it has to be it depends what camera you use. Because it's a male male, we need a little adapter to connect it to the Ursa viewfinder. I added some rod mount stuff so I can mount the Ursa viewfinder on my Black Magic production camera. Let's see how it works. Here I have two rods and now I can put on the Ursa viewfinder. So first step is done. Now we connect the signals. First video. Here I connect it with the cable and then I go to the HDSDI out of the Blackmagic production camera. If you only have an HDMI out you have to use a converter. Then here I put the battery on. Check it. Yes, it's full. And connect the D tap to the battery. And then on the other side, I connect it to the Ursa viewfinder. After everything is connected, I Turn the power of the camera on and I can control if I have a picture in the Ursa viewfinder and here we see, yep, 
we have a nice picture from the Black Magic production camera in the Earth of Viewfinder, so it's not so difficult to make the Earth of Viewfinder work on another camera, like the production camera or a Canon C300 or something else. It is only important that you have an HD SDI signal and a 12 volt power connection. And then the Black Magic design Ursa Mini Viewfinder will work perfectly on your camera.